Okay, so we're going to continue on without chords. There's so much to do with chords, and it's a very extensive subject, and there's so much I haven't covered yet. Um, so later on, not today, because I'm starting to run short of time now, but in lessons to come, we will cover add chords, we will cover major seventh chords, minor seventh chords. Um, but let's get on to a little bit of theory now and look at where chords come from. Because uh, I've covered most of the chords that I use. The major seven, minor seven, <coughs> don't use quite so much. The add chords I don't really use that much, but we'll get into them later on, as I said. Um, so let's look, let's look at a little bit of theory, look at where chords come from. So even though we're going to look at a scale right now, we're not going to really be playing a scale. It's not really a scale lesson. It's just a look at where the chords come from. Okay, so let's get my foul ass up here. Right. So let's do it <coughs> in everyone's favorite key, A, right? We're going to play an A major scale right now. We're going to put our middle finger on the A notes on the low E string. Okay, and we're going to use, uh, it's going to be one finger per fret. So we're going to stick to some sort of format here. Okay, and we're going to play A. Pinky finger will play B. Index finger will play the fourth fret on the A string. Middle finger will play the next string. Pinky finger will play the E note, fret seven. Index will play the D string on the full fret. Third finger will play the D string on the sixth fret. And the pinky finger will play the um, A note on the D string, fret seven. So that's. Now this note is just a repeat of this note. So there are seven notes in the major scale and we can think of that eighth note as being one again, the start where it starts again. So you could say, you could look at it like this, notes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because there are seven notes in a major scale, back to one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay. Now each one of those notes has a chord that is <coughs> applied to it, and those chords run in a particular order. The first note of a major scale is always major, always. Okay. Now we're playing an A. It's an A major scale in this case. But it could be applied to anywhere if you're doing it in G. The first note of that G major scale would be G. But we're doing it in A. So, the first chord, which is derived from that A note, is an A major. The second note in the scale is B. But that B chord is minor. Okay, so we have a scale, we have seven notes in the scale, each note has a chord that goes with it, that's the idea. Note number one is A and it's major, note number two is B and it's minor, note number, note number three is C, um, sorry, C sharp and it's also minor. So you've got major, sorry,
note number four is major. Note number five is also major, but it's a dominant seven. Note number six is minor. I'm not going to play it down here, I can play it up here. So, note number one in the major scale is major, major chord that goes with it. Note number two is a B, and it's minor. C sharp is minor, third note in the scale. Fourth note in the scale is major. Fifth note in the scale is a dominant seventh chord, but it's still major. That note is a sixth note in the scale, it's minor. Okay, and it's <coughs> an F sharp minor. Seventh note in the scale. Is a diminished chord. Now a diminished chord is not a chord that I use. It's not something you're likely to play in rock or pop. You might use it in blues. We'll skip over it today and come back to it. Just know that it's there and it's a diminished chord. And then you're back to your one, which is major. Okay, so you've got seven notes, just to clarify, seven notes. Every note has a chord that goes with it, and those chords have a structure to them. <coughs> some are major, some are minor, some are dominant, some are diminished. First chord is always major, second chord is always minor, third chord is always minor, fourth chord is major, fifth chord is major, but the chord is played as a dominant seven, sixth chord is minor, seventh chord is diminished. Okay, back to the one, which is major, major, minor, minor, major, seventh chord, sorry, onto your diminished chord and then back to your major. So that is your harmonized chord scale, that's what it's called, a harmonized chord scale. Back to the one. I hope that's nice and clear. If it's not, send me a message. I'll try and clarify it.